how you doing today? It's me, David, Jersey Boy Music, coming to you from the Beatles Corner. So we are collecting the Beatles 101. And um, after a brief several week hiatus on the post, because I did some of the um, other compilation albums that were issued, like Germany and Australia, I want to get back on track with the post- Beatles, well, 1970s compilation album. So already we've talked about the Red and Blue albums. We've talked about rock and roll music. So now we're going to talk about the Beatles' Love Songs compilation album. So um, before I get too much into my thoughts on this, here's a close-up look at this album. So here we go, uh, my patented close up look at this album so you know it's really cool i mean it's so minimal you've got this um cover that looks like leather but it's really just i mean it's paperboard it does have a texture to it um this logo here is embossed from the is it richard avedon photo which uh is really nice. I mean, it's just the only problem, I, as you can see here, uh, over time, and I take really good care of my records. Somehow that little nick happened there. But if we open up the gatefold, because this is a two record album, I mean, look at that. There's that, I mean, I, I know the lights are shining on it, but there's that Richard Avedon. Um, photo now if i remember correctly this has been edited the original photo ringo and paul have are kind of juxtaposed so i believe ringo was where paul is and paul is where ringo was um circa i want to say circa 19 late 67 um really beautiful photo and uh, of course they edited that photo photo I don't want to say photoshopped <laughs> they edited the photo because photoshop wasn't around back in 77 but really highlighting John and Paul at the forefront which you know I guess is good legit uh, the back cover we go around here um, very minimalistic uh, we got the songs here, all embossed in gold. This is a real deluxe looking package, which would be fit, in my opinion, like a love songs theme. Um, unfortunately, over time, the ring wear is on there. The indicia at the bottom. Let's take a look at the goodies inside, shall we? Uh, okay, so another great thing about this package. I, this is a booklet. So, uh, looks like parchment. It's not. It's nice. It's a heavy, heavy paper. Um, it's hard to do this holding a camera. But here's the lyrics to each song. Again, just a really nice, in my opinion, attention to detail kind of thing. I mean, the font... It just looks so deluxe. Really nice. And each page has its own, you know, lyric sheet. And then, let me see what we got back here. Yeah, there we go. P.S. I love you, I will. And then the back cover of this. And please keep in mind, this was not... This isn't a, like a computer generated kind of thing. This is a uh, hand done calligraphy. Again, 1977 people. We didn't have computers to do this for us. And uh, Michael Manugian is credited with doing that calligraphy. See that? 1977. Okay, now the records have these custom um, vanity labels, again, carrying that same theme. Uh, really nice. I am so glad 
that, uh, yeah, the labels look like this. It doesn't have that orange capital deal. There's the simple capital logo. Again, the Richard Avedon uh, artwork on a record label. Elegant. That's what I got to say. Elegant. And that elegance and that theme carries over to the inner sleeves. <clears throat> inner sleeves there. And uh, on the back of the inner sleeve, song listings and times and credits. And of course, this being an American album, you know, the American album credits, It's Only Love comes off of Rubber Soul, Every Little Thing off of Beatles 6. Yes, it is. Beatles 6, Tell Me What You See. I'll be back is off of uh, 65. So you, you can see that, right? Right. Um, for some reason, <laughs> the two inner sleeves I have are exactly the same for side two and side three. So there you are. Now let's go back to me in the Beatles corner. See what else I got to yak about on this album. Turn it over back to me. All right. So there you go. Uh, Love Songs album. This was released here in the United States October 21st, 1977. Not quite sure if this was the brainchild of Capitol Rec. Probably was. Um, because Capitol was riding high on the compilation album package. I think, I'm not sure, but I feel like they were at the forefront of getting these put together. And the rest of EMI just kind of followed along. So, um, what do I think of it? You know, it's interesting. Until I listened to this yesterday. I literally listened to this album yesterday. <laughs> before I record. Because I want to listen to it and see how it flowed and all that. Um, so, I listened to it yesterday. I believe that was the first time I've listened to this album in over 40 years. I mean, the spindle hole on record two was tight. Um, actually, the spindle holes on both records were pretty tight. It might be the third or fourth time I've ever listened to this album. I do have a distinct memory when I was a kid of listening to it, of course, when I first got it. And I don't even remember if I bought this album or if it was gifted to me by a relative. Because at this point, I was hugely into the Beatles. And so um, I have a feeling I may have purchased it. I'm not sure. Or actually may have gotten it as a gift. <clears throat> um, I do vividly remember a holiday. I want to say it was Thanksgiving. It could have been Christmas where during dinner we were listening to this album because, you know, I wanted to, <laughs> I guess, some soft dinner music. Um, and it's the Beatles! <laughs> so there you go. Um, my thoughts on this album, it was act it's actually a really fast, quick listen. I think it was under an hour that it took me to listen to this. I mean, we've got... Not a whole lot of songs filling up the four uh, four sides. Um, and not all the songs I would consider as love songs. You're Gonna Lose That Girl, not really a love song. She's Leaving Home, not really a love song. For No One, an awesome song. Um, I, and I found myself singing along with several of these, like For No One. Um, not really a love song. <laughs> You've got to hide your love away. Not a love song. I don't think it's a love song. But in, you know, it's it was a better listen than what I thought it was going to be. Um, like I said, I found myself singing along. Clapping your hands and stomping your feet. Well, not really. But I was singing along. Um, with a lot of these songs, and I really actually enjoyed 
this album more than I thought I would. So there you go. Um, it's a nice alternative, diametrically opposed to the rock and roll music album, which I love. But um, this, you know, the songs on this obviously are a little bit more mellow, a little softer. There's some some upbeat tempo numbers, but um, not bad, not bad. And as we're going to see as I examine these post, I also say post breakup compilation albums, um, after this, I believe they started getting a little long in the tooth. <laughs> so uh, let's, uh, let's leave it at that. So those are my thoughts on the Love Songs album. Would I go out of my way to get it? I, probably not, but you know, it's up to you, obviously. It's your money, it's your collection. Um, but it is, it's not as sappy as you would think it would be. Pretty cool album. Uh, but, you know, if I listen to it every couple of decades, I guess I've gotten my fill. Um, sound quality is really good. It is mat in the runouts mastered by Capital. Uh, the mastering is really good. The sound quality is phenomenal in my point of my point of view um the songs that are like the dave dexter redos don't sound really overly bad either um they're clearly not like the british versions cuts whatever of the songs but um you know the whole it sounds like a very cohesive album my only issue as with some of these compilations most of the compilations is that they're not in chronological order but it's not really jarring as well i mean if you have the long and winding road and then the next song is this boy it's not as jarring it's kind of jarring but not as much as you would think i will and then p.s i love you which closes out the collection not bad not bad and um so there you go so until next time as always, it's me, David. I'm just hanging out here in the Beatles corner. Um, if you are looking for vintage vinyl, please check me out at jerseyboymusic.net. That takes you to my eBay store. And um, I may have something there that you would like. So sales are a little slow, so you might want to, you know, we can do bundles, bundle deals. <laughs> All right. So until next time, um, I'll catch you on the flip side. Thank you so much for watching.